Hello and welcome to the Dead Lounge. Today we are playing Dream Daddy. Yeah, <laughs> that we are. I'm excited. Are you excited? Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I know nothing about this game. I've seen stuff about it. Like I know, uh, we got we got Goth Dad down in the corner. I know that's Goth Dad. See, I've heard. Is... I've only heard about this guy. <laughs> but there's, there's goth dad I see I see knife dad in the top <laughs> uh, right corner <laughs> yeah I know none of these people so let's go <laughs> dad tip number 47 don't skip the corners oh. snoozing still snoozing Dad. Dad, wake up. Wake up, pretend to be dead. <laughs> I won't pretend to be dead. Let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. That hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath you to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Oh shit. <laughs> that was a noise. <laughs> Finally opened my eyes and sit up and I'm laying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. Yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Ugh. Yikes, Dad breath. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Nah. I'm good. Smile as often as you can. It will make others around you feel more comfortable. No. Build <laughs> that dad. Oh. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> Is that what we currently look like? I'm just gonna come back from the bathroom looking like an entirely different person. Sure. <laughs> eh. Eh. Tank bud. Bind oh, binder bod, right. Yeah, so they have you you can be a trans dad if you if you'd like. Tank bod. Tank bod. Square head, triangle head. And by head they Heart mean head. jaw. <laughs> Oval head. That's an egg head. Chin head. <laughs> yup, they got that. <laughs> got that double chin. Triangle head looks very anime. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Goku! <laughs> Space warrior. Ponytail. Lock locks hair. hair. That's like such pathetic locks, man. I got, <laughs> I got better locks than that. But whatever. Why did your eyebrows not do a thing? Maybe that's an eyes. I don't know. That's why are your eyebrows still blonde? <laughs> what are with these eyes? It's like some of this stuff doesn't look like it's in the same game even. Hard eyes. Hard. Look. Where? 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 Second row. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Sanji. <laughs> what are these eyes? The space warrior eyes. You could just I... full on be Goku. <laughs> but yet we can't full on be Sanji. Salty eyes. I kind of like salty eyes. Salty? <laughs> Just that, like... <laughs> oh. What? Butt nose, Greek nose, hawk nose, snub, snub nose, humble nose, wide nose. <laughs> Goku also nose. quite anime. <laughs> that works. Ha <laughs> ha. 
the <laughs> salty mouth. With the pink lips, that's just racist. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Do you not have lip color? What? <laughs> Kitty mouth. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go with this one so I don't have to deal with the just, mouth. Just the most basic, like... Just so I don't have to deal with the lip, like... I agree. There is no, like... Literally any, like, character creation thing, like, I never go with the, the mouth option that actually has lips. Because <laughs> they always just look really weird. They do. There's eyebrows. Wizard eyebrows. <laughs> I feel like, what were they, in the second row, the last ones in the second row? Mm -hmm. I feel like those make the, the <clears throat> salty eyes look less salty and more like, like dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, I wonder, what if <laughs> one of these days? It looks more like a determined face. Yeah. Like. <laughs> determined to find his dream daddy. <laughs> Danny Brows. <laughs> yep. There we go. Danny Brows. We found the facial one. Facial hair. All right. Exec executive decision. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> Harry Potter glasses? Yeah, I mean, out of all of them here, it's either those or it's these. <laughs> and I like these. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Piercings. We're, we're shaping up to be like a badass dad. Like, I mean, we already look, look like at a badass him. dad. <laughs> I think piercings would diminish that. It looks, honestly, he looks a little bit like, um, wow, how have I forgotten his name? The guy who plays Khal Drogo <laughs> looks a bit like a black him. Of course they have Danny's <laughs> clothes. <laughs> So, okay. We can be really snazzy or really weird. Kitties! I'm gonna I'm a be snazz. Snazz kitty. <laughs> snazz kitty kitty snazz. There you go. All right. Am I wrong about what, <laughs> what he looks like? You're not wrong. <laughs> like, I feel, I feel like, like the beard the, made it that way. I feel like the eyes have to be a little bit more intimidating. Oh god. <laughs> Opposite. <laughs> I okay, not gonna lie, I like these. <laughs> he just looks tired of your shit. He just <laughs> Could just spend way too much time in character creation. Could. I'm gonna I'm leave it at this. Okay. Looking good, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Name that dad. Oh, God. Name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're called Drogo. <laughs> the best dad. I don't even remember if that's how it's actually spelled, but... <laughs> yep. That's called Drogo. Hmm. Did you fall asleep packing? <laughs> uh, most of it done. Not used to domestication like this. Uh, looks like I did a pretty good job. Got every box except for, you know, one. Wait. Straggler. Hmm. What's in it? in the box and a bunch of old photos and little photo albums got pictures of your mom whoa i 
haven't seen these in years. You know, looking at her though, she does look like she would have Khaleesi eyes. <laughs> like she's like a humanoid dragon. We are called Drogo. Plus that army jacket is everything. It is. I want that jacket. <laughs> okay. Pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile. We begin looking through it. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Yeah, but that shirt though... <laughs> this baby doesn't got good taste. The sunglasses make up for it though. The only way your father and I, or the only way your mother and I? Uh, I'd, I'd say she's our blood. <laughs> I'd, say, okay. I'd say she's our blood. The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put those sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. Spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. Halloween when you were maybe four? <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or the dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. Because <laughs> we're called Drogo. That's adorable. <laughs> Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. <laughs> Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. <laughs> we're like a smart Kal Drogo. <laughs> that was a very, like, psychological evaluation of a fucking child in a dragon costume. <laughs> Right. Yep. Definitely repressed that memory. <laughs> <laughs> and this was you and your horse phase. Every little girl um, had one. Really? Dad. <laughs> I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. I don't think that was his... And the lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatched away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. <laughs> nice try, but this is important black feel... Black feel? Blackmail for later down the road. I can words. <laughs> Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Oh god, no. <laughs> <sighs> the, what? The Scamionist Manifesto. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, no. I look off in the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Dad. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. I, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. No. <laughs> All right, Emma P was the one who, uh... Trying to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, or pooped her pants during a sleepover. Yeah, flaming tennis ball. <laughs> I'd remember flaming tennis ball. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? Tad, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds like something we'd do. <laughs> Alright, I was a wild child. <laughs> I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened to be that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Ugh. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. And it worked. <laughs> Shut up, Carl. It worked. <laughs> anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Yeah, Nick got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. 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 <laughs> and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostada Blasts. That sounds like something you could get food poisoning from. Nick? <laughs> ah, <laughs> uh, fucking dad jokes. I think you mean food poisoning. You, you know, with, with a Z. Oh. Dad. <laughs> Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Oh, Amanda reaches down into the box and pulls out the last photo. 
Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Finally decide to break the silence. We already said she was our blood, so this yep. is the day you were born. It's kind of a funny story. I know a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. Of course, I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man, pulls my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen her. She says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Um, she was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss her. So, so mom's dead. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've established this. Uh, mom's dead, which means our child is, what, the main character of a shonen anime? <laughs> Can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Alright, Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Really digging the music. <laughs> <laughs> I was just over here kind of like swaying. <laughs> Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? <laughs> of course. You always had very strong arms. You got them from your old man, after all. Ah. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? Hey. <laughs> that was very specific. <laughs> you were a very imaginative child. Yeah. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? Pl we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and there will be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. You're like our very own maid. <laughs> <laughs> Memories to make and stuff to break. Ah, you ready? Sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold place in my heart. But it stings a little to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get into the car. Oh, get into the car. It pulls away and I get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> pulls away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So... So what? <clears throat> so sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nope. <laughs> Got Nestled it. in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay. Maple Bay? I almost said Maple View. <laughs> Maple Bay. Our new house features... Washer and dryer hookup, two-car garage, and multiple places to sleep. Multiple places to sleep. That's like the best part. <laughs> Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. <laughs> what a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. Kid, I will. Mm. Sleep is for the week is such like a teenager thing to say, and I'm, then you become I'm... an adult and you really just never get any sleep, and you you miss it. <laughs> you sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my fault, pops. I keep it real. I like Amanda. Anyway, seems like a good kid. <laughs> it's also smaller than our last house. <laughs> Cozier, one might argue. Your eyes are weird. <laughs> Good spin. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to, so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. <laughs> Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? No, not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Hmm. I don't know how to do that either. Have Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm. So you won't have to chase away chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. 
No, just hoping. lots of dads to flirt with. <laughs> you are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Huh. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real, oh. uh... Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Huh. I'm just gonna ignore that. Huh. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a new path through a, the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. And I still have to install the washer dryer. You need to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Fine. <laughs> we'll get some work done, then check the area out. <laughs>